Your Committee on Civil Service and Government Organization has the honor to sponsor Senate Bill No. 2434 or the proposed Philippine Agricultural and Biosystems Act of 2014. I note that it is imperative that we strengthen, that we modernize and benchmark to international standards the practice of agricultural and biosystems engineering in the country to ensure their long-term competitiveness. As we seek to achieve food security and safety, while at the same time raising incomes among our farmers and fisher folks, our agricultural and biosystems engineers will become our crucial partners in this important development objective. Republic Act No. 10915 otherwise known as the Philippine Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Act of 2016 or ABILO became effective as a law last August 16, 2016. The 8,732 agricultural engineers licensed by PRC since 1964 are now automatically registered as agricultural and biosystems engineers. Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering is the application of engineering science and designs to the processes and systems involved in the sustainable production, post-production and processing of safe food, feed, fiber, timber, and other agricultural and biological materials and the efficient utilization, conservation and management of natural and renewable resources in order to enhance human health in harmony with the environment. Agricultural and biosystems include crops, livestock, poultry, fisheries and aquaculture, forestry, wildlife, and other living things. The ABI law prescribes the scope of practice of registered and licensed agricultural and biosystems engineers, and this include the planning and designing, supervision on the construction, operation and maintenance, testing and evaluation, inspection, monitoring and technical audit, research, training and extension, teaching, consultancy, sale and manufacture of various agricultural and biosystems engineering facilities and projects such as irrigation and drainage, soil and water conservation and management, agrometeorological system, and agricultural and biosystems power and machinery, buildings and structures, post-harvest and processing, waste utilization and management, information systems, resource conservation and management, automation and instrumentation, renewable energy, and farm electrification. This includes farm development and land use planning, which will facilitate land consolidation and contiguous farming under CARP law and AFMEC law to restructure the fragmented, narrow, irregularly shaped farm sizes to ensure economies of scale and efficient farm mechanization and irrigation. The ABI law requires that all plans, designs, specifications, and other documents to be used for the implementation, construction, testing, and evaluation of agricultural and biosystems building and structures, machineries and equipment, irrigation, soil and water conservation, and other agricultural and biosystems engineering facilities and projects must be signed and sealed by a licensed agricultural and biosystems engineer. This shall be implemented by the DPWH and local building officials in the issuance of building permits and by all concerned national government entities and local government units in the procurement and in the discharge of the regulatory and auditing functions. There is now a big demand for agricultural and biosystems engineers. The ABI law mandates all concerned government and private entities that implement, construct, operate and maintain, sell, manufacture, regulate and undertake research, training and extension on agricultural and biosystems engineering facilities and projects to employ the required number of agricultural and biosystems engineers. From now on, 
on the registered and licensed agricultural and biosystems engineers with valid PRC license shall be appointed or designated to all positions in government and private firms and establishments with agricultural and biosystems engineering functions and responsibilities. The Abbey Law shall pursue higher standards of professional practice through the formulation and implementation of a national career progression and specialization program for agricultural and biosystems engineers. This complements and supports the ongoing Philippine Qualification Framework or PQF piloting of the agricultural and biosystems engineering. In tandem with the implementation of the Continuing Professional Development Act of 2016, all agricultural and biosystems engineers are now required to undergo a continuing professional development as a requirement in the renewal of PRC license and accreditation for higher level of professional practice. The existing Philippine Agricultural Engineering Standards or PAES shall be transformed into Philippine Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Standards. A new Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Curriculum shall be developed and adapted by CHED to align with the ABI law and international standards and to respond to the needs of the industry. Along this, the ABI law mandates the modernization of school facilities, massive faculty development and trainings, scholarships, ladderization program, and the formulation and implementation by all HEIs, their agricultural and biosystems engineering education competitiveness roadmaps, and the National Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Career Guidance and Advocacy Program. This is to accelerate the production of adequate number of globally competitive and highly employable Filipino agricultural and biosystems engineers. The ABILO created the Professional Regulatory Board of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering composed of a chairman and two members to be appointed by the President of the Philippines. The incumbent chairman and member of the Board of Agricultural Engineering served as the Interim Professional Regulatory Board of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. The Board, with the assistance of the Professional Regulation Commission, conducts licensure examinations and regulates the practice of agricultural and biosystems engineering, including investigations and prosecutions of illegal practice and violations, among others. Any violations of the ABI law shall be sanctioned for administrative and criminal penalties. This is the ABI law. God bless us all.